Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design Beijing Airport Roof Stretcher in the SketchUp. So, let's get started. Okay, let's first create a hexagon at the center. Use the polygon tool and click on this origin. And let's type a uh, 55 feet and enter. Okay, we need to rotate this shape. Let's use rotate tool and click on origin and use this uh, reference point and rotate about 90 degree. Okay, let's create some line from this point to this point and one more line from this origin to this point. Okay, now we need to offset this face. Let's offset it and type uh, 3.5 feet. You can offset any amount you want. Okay, let's uh, extend this line from this point, uh, which is parallel to the edge. And let's do the same. Okay, now let's erase uh, this line. Okay, we need to create a line from uh, this point, uh, which is a horizontal line. Uh, it is parallel to the axis in. And click here. Okay, let's create one more line at this uh, tip of triangle. Okay, now we need to erase this two line. Okay, now select this face. And right click and choose make component. And let's subdivide this face into uh, multiple faces because we are going to use sub D command. And let's click from this midpoint to this midpoint. Okay, let's do the same to the other side. And let's divide one more faces from this point to this point. And this point to this point. And let's do the same to the other side. Okay, now let's uh, exit from Groove. Uh, now let's uh, get into this Groove one more time. And let's use Vardas command. Uh, select these two Vardas and select these two Vardas from the left side. And scale it to the inside. You can scale it any more you want. Okay, now let's select uh, inside single Vardas, this one and this one. And scale it inside. Okay, look uh, good. Now let's uh, exit the command. Uh, we need to select the border edges. So select this border line, this line. And we need to select this small line too. And select this two line too. Okay, now let's use vertex command one more time. And let's move this uh, downward direction about one feet and six inch okay now uh, select this center face and let's move it around use the move command and let's move it about one feet okay so far so good Now we need to array this, so let's use a uh, rotate command and click on the center and use the reference line at this point and rotate up to this point. Okay, I need to delete this center face, uh, which is not necessary. Okay, I need to rotate this one more time. Okay, let's use a second component to rotate. Select this and use the rotate command one more time. And click on the origin. And click on this reference line. And rotate up to this point. And type 4x and enter. And now let's delete unnecessary faces. Okay, that's perfect. Now select this component, we are going to use sub-D command, click here and click on the green button uh, to increase the smoothness level. Okay, that's uh, enough. Now we are going to use crease command to add the crease at some vertex. So get into this groove and let's use this uh, crease tool and click on this vertex and this vertex too. 
and press left click and increase the crease level uh, let's increase about 0 0.3 or 2 uh, let's put it about 0 0.28 okay that's perfect uh, you need to do the other side by yourself now select this component and right click choose make unit and uh, let's turn up the sub effect uh, we need to subdivide some phases so get into this group okay let's use a uh, line tool and click on this point and let's draw a perpendicular line on this line and let's draw from this point on this line now select this phases and delete it Okay, now we need to uh, edit some vertices. So let's use vertex command one more time and select this vertex and let's move it in the Z direction because I want to make an incline face at this section. Select this vertex too and let's move it over. Okay, that's look good. Now select this vertex and let's move it a little bit downward okay that's uh look perfect now we are going to mirror this to the left side so let's use changes power bar and use a mirror command and let's mirror it to the left side okay that's good now let's get into this uh, right component and let's use virus command one more time and select this uh, vertex and let's move it to the outside okay let's select this one too and let's move it outside just a little bit okay that's look good now let's see the result by opening sub effect now we need to edit the tail side so put it in the separate component and select this component and turn off the sub effect and now let's uh, use a vertex command select this two vertex and move it along the wind direction let's put it about 15 feet okay now let's subdivide this services now use the line command draw a line from this point to this end point and let's draw a move line from this point to this uh, middle point uh, up to this point let's draw a more line okay that's enough now we are going to use uh, vertex command one more time and select this vertex and move it over and select the middle vertex and move it just a little bit over direction Okay, now we need to edit this with our vertex. Uh, select this middle one. And move it to the inside. And select this one too. And do the same. And let's move this along the Y direction too. Okay, that's good. Now select this and turn on the sub -effer. Okay, look like we need to add a uh, crease at some vertex. So let's use crease command. And click on this vertex and increase the crease level. Okay, now select this vertex and increase the crease level too. Okay, let's add one more crease at the middle section uh, at this point. Okay, that's good. Now select this and turn up the sub effect. Uh, still, we need to add some vertex. So use the vertex command. 
Select this one and move it in the east direction. And select this vertex and move it to the inside. Okay, now select this and then on the sub effect. Okay, I think we need to add crease at the middle section. So get into this component and use the crease command and select this middle vertex and increase the crease level. Uh, you can edit as much as you want until you get the desired result. Okay, now that's perfect. Now you can add some aesthetic on this model uh, to make it exactly like the uh, model in the real world. I just use some circle ellipse and soft skin bubble uh, to do this. Uh, you can do it yourself, it is quite easy. Now you need to create a basic curve between this. I have already done it. Okay, this is the curve. Now we have to import an airplane component. Let's import it. Okay, now let's open the uh, Sketch Plus plugin toolbar. Choose component and select this part and click on this tool. Okay, now click on this endpoint and click on this component because you want to array along this path. Okay, now you have to type the distance, uh, any distance you want. Now let's uh, delete this one. Now we need to mirror this to the other side. So let's select all these. And click on mirror command. And let's click on this point and click on here. And now let's click along the Z Z. Okay, now select this all one more time. And let's choose the mirror command one more time from the toolbar. And click on this point and click along this line. And now click on Z Z. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.